Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Hemlata and in this video we will learn how to choose relevant variables for making a multiple linear regression model or how to do the feature selection for fitting a best regression model using the forward selection method. So I will not go into the theoretical aspect of this method to perform this uh, into the software we just have to know how this method works and how to interpret the results. Um, so let's start and uh, uh, for the sake of time I have written all my codes here but don't worry I will be explaining each and every code one by one with the proper interpretation. Okay so um, now I will show you what is my data set. So here I have written uh, my variables and details. Uh, this is my data here I have taken y the sales of the um, the sale price of the house as my re response variable and others are my regressor so if you want to uh, read them when, uh, each and every variable you can pause the video and have a look on that okay but let me show you now uh, this is my data set okay the data set on all the variables which I showed you here okay so the here uh, this is my data set now what will I do? I will be doing this analysis in the R so I will be importing the, this data set and you know how to import this and I have shown in my in many videos how to import the data set. So if you want to see you, you can see all those my videos okay. So after importing this data set my data is, uh, is stored in this uh, uh, object now okay forward. So after importing my data set what, what do we have to do? first? first step should be my to make a full model full model means we will be incorporating each and every variable on which we have the data okay so i made a full model so i saved my full model in the full underscore model and uh, i'm performing a multiple linear regression so i will use this function lm y tilde dot dot means what it will take all those variables which are there in my data set and the data is what data is equal to forward okay this is my data so now if i run this and uh, i want to see what is uh, stored in my full model what are the results of my full model i'll see few aspects of this okay so this is my full model here i can see the these many nine regressors were there in my data set and this is my interceptor and uh, you can see this x1 is only significant right uh, it is indicated by this one star one star means it is significant at 95 percent level of significance okay but still many insignificant or you can say irrelevant variables are there but you cannot remove them um, like by your choice so what should we do we should use some proper methodology to remove them okay so that a degree of uh, um, uh, the model adequacy will not reduce okay so here what we see the adjusted r square and we see the, if this should be high okay it should be close to 1 to get the, from the more accuracy okay here you can see this is 0 0.78 means 78 percent of the variation in my response variable is explained by my all the regressors okay but you can see some irrelevant variables are uh, variables are also there I, I i don't want them right because they are just uh, increasing my uh, model complexity okay nothing else they are not contributing more okay so which variable uh, should I remove so that my uh, adjusted R square will also not reduce okay so for this method here I am going to use forward selection method okay so for forward selection method my first step is I will be making the, the model which is having no regressors only intercept term is there okay so i saved this model in the f1 f1 is the first step of the forward selection method so i took i, I wrote lm y tilde 1 1 means only intercept no regresses and the data is coming from the the data which is which i have stored in the forward okay and then let me run this and i'll show you the results we'll have to wait little bit it is too slow yeah so now see here this is what i made this is my model you can see only intercept is there only the beta naught coefficient is there and that is highly significant but when we are performing a regression model we should 
incorporate the regressors otherwise there is no use of the regression modeling in the regression modeling we uh, our objective is to see the influence of all the regressors on the response variable right so we should incorporate them also right so this is not enough for us so what we will do in the second step uh, we will use the, the proper forward selection method so uh, we will use this command step and the initial step that is the with intercept only f1 so i wrote f1 and the direction direction is my forward it will uh, use the variables uh, by using the pair, uh, forward selection method so first with no regressors that is only with intercept second in the second step it will be uh, taking one by one variables and it will see which variable is significantly uh, good for explaining the response variable okay and then scope formula full model full model was take, uh, having all the regressors on which i had the data set okay so it will be choosing the forward selection method will be choosing the variables one by one from the full model and then it will check whether my accuracy increases or decreases okay so i run this so if i run this you will get the this big output okay this big output so let us let us understand what this big output is so initially it is telling this is my aic value aic is the ekaiki information criteria so uh, we will not go into the details but uh, you should understand we will choose the that subset model which is having the least aic okay so in the starting means the, if the model is not having any regressors if it is having only interceptor this is y tilde 1 means only intercept then my aic value of that model is 80 80.78 right so it is quite big but many subset models can be created from that data set right so now in the same step only it is um, telling us this plus sign indicates these variables if we add these variables then this will be my aic so aic is already arranged in ascending order okay the least aic which we can get is by adding the x1 variable okay if you add x2 variable then it will be this much 68 so from this if you compare all the aic values it in it is it is telling us we should include x1 variable so that my aic of that subset model will be least among all that is 49.39 okay so what it, it automatically added the x1 variable so now after adding the x1 variable your model is now y is equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x1 okay and the aic is 49.39 so now again because there are nine variables x1 x2 x9 so now again it will add another variable out of them right so what how it will add uh, it is now showing that x2 can be added and the aic will reduce to 48.26 earlier it was 49 now it will reduce to 48.26 if you add x2 also into the model right if you want to add x to x9 then your aic will reduce uh, very uh, little right so we will uh, we will add x2 into the model because it is reducing more okay uh, none means what if you don't add any more variables only x1 uh, you will keep then your aic will remain as it is 49.39 okay and for these variables if you add them then your aic it will not increase but it is uh, it will not decrease but it is increasing more right so our objective is to reduce aic so from this we can see it is reducing so now i am our model has become has taken two variables into it uh, this is the my model and this is the aic least among all now it is suggesting we should not include more variables among others okay because our aic will not reduce further okay so that means what our model will will be only uh, taking x2 and x1 okay so now the final model that the forward model forward selection method is suggesting us is the model y is equal to beta naught plus beta 1 plus beta 2 beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 and this is these are my regression coefficients okay now here you are getting only regression coefficient what about the other measures so what we will do after after getting an idea what all variables should be included in my model uh, i will fit a model 
by using those variables and i will see the summary okay uh, and then we will see some points whether they are satisfied or not so this is my final model final model having only two variables x1 and x2 suggested by forward selection method and let's see what is the result whether it is equivalent to my full model or not so for, for if you see x1 is significant but it has added x2 also okay why it has added x2 uh, we will see the other thing adjusted r square value so adjusted r square here for this model having only two regressors is 0 0.7898 mm, okay and if you see the adjusted r square of the full model see here it is 0 0.7854 that means if we add x2 also into the model my adjusted r square has increased a bit right 0 0.7854 to 0 0.7898 so it is a good indication that means we can incorporate x2 but the other x3 x4 x5 up to x9 cannot be increase cannot be added into the model because they are just useless whatever uh, model whatever variables uh, are influencing by or helping to estimate by uh, are only x1 and x2 so this is our full model so this is how you can choose the the relevant variables to make your model best um, with the help of r and you can interpret your results so um, in this video uh, that is what we i i wanted to show you i hope the video is clear to you you would have got some clarity in understanding the results um, if you like my video please like subscribe my channel and uh, share with others thank you